Hey, how you going? Welcome, hello to all my subscribers, non-subscribers, trolls, bots, and yes, you lurkers alike. I'm not sure if people are um, getting uh, uploads when I do upload. I, I haven't done much uploading lately because every time I go to record something, it gets wiped. Um, it's really frustrating. Also, um, on my school holiday, I've been doing exams, but this talk on Twitter about um, shutting down the state, basically doing a blockade. It's trending. Basically, what started it was they've had enough to begin with. There's so much paperwork to just even cross all the different borders. And now they've been told that they have to get get the Jabiru. And if they don't get the Jabiru, um, they're stuffed, you know. So um, this is a major concern. I am concerned about it because it's happened before. 79, the defence still on Razorback. Mbue through an on-day blockade by truck drivers around Australia demanding the abolition of road taxes. Our reporter met with the revolutionary truckies of Razorback Mountain. 7th April 2020, 12 a.m. It's almost like they want the Australian public to riot so they can do martial law. That's what I see with all of our news. I see that, that, that that's what they want the people to do. Truckies blockading Sydney and other major Sydney cities last night said they would stay put despite the state government plans to drop road maintenance tax from July 1. From Razorback Mountain outside Sydney, the spokesman for the blockading road truckies, Ted Stevens, said the blockades will continue until all drivers' demands were met. And this was big. This was all over Australia. They did it at Marburg, the Port of Brisbane, Sydney, uh, Melbourne, Perth. It was big. I mean, that, that Sydney will face serious food shortages this week. Industries could be brought to a standstill as tens of thousands of workers have stood down. Supermarkets warned that fresh fruit and vegetables are likely to be in scarce supply and that many stores might have to start closing down by the middle of the week. And this is true. Without trucks, Australia stops. They st got rid of all the rail freight put it on the road so they could get more tax, um, sell more oil, make more tax. And now, uh, if these fellas do it, block the highways and block the ports, they're, they're, they're fucked. They are really fucked. I wouldn't encourage it. I wouldn't go out processing either. I, I seriously wouldn't. Um, I know there's, it's our rights. There are different ways of doing it. Yeah. As well as dropping road maintenance taxes, the minister agreed to lift the maximum load a truck can carry and to confer with companies in a bid to help drivers fix a higher freight rate. Mr. Stevens said road t maintenance tax should be dropped immediately, not from July 1. Nobody can pay it now. How will we afford to pay it until then? We are prepared to stay here as long as it takes for the common sense to prevail. F Fiat still a Razorback. Evan Greens reports on Razorback. The revolutionary truckers and mountain Razorback Mountain are expected crowds of sightseers to drift into their makeshift camp today. Lots of the locals bought them food because they were mostly, um, they were out of town, they weren't local drivers. Some of the visitors, they hope, will take food and money without which the blockading truck drivers need it. And this is before social media, people. Uh, but most will go to gape at the massive rigs blocking the Hume Highway and to gaze at the Blue Signal and T-Shirt Brigade who have sparked the spontaneous and spectacular grievance post which now threatens to strangle the nation and what a sight it is. Now, this was just done by two-way and word of mouth. A jumble of Kenworth, Mercedes, Max, White, Scanias, Lewisville, Fords and other kings on the road lit the highway. The trucks and the goods they contain are worth more than 100 uh, 75 million. No alcohol. Having seized a valuable part of Australia's busy highway, the truckies are acting. Alcohol is forbidden in the camp by a common agreement, so their cause will not be tarnished by misbehaviour. You see, tough men bursting their muscles and broad bellies, licking ice creams and drinking cans of soft drink to combat the sweltering heat. Volunteers wandered around picking up scraps of rubbish so that the site with the mass of bull bars, towing prime movers and disembowelled tri towers, trailers is unusually clean. Some wives and children are there, but most of the groups are men. They sit together and talk usually about their common loves, trucks and travel. Hot helicopters from the TV station buzz the, buzz the mountain. They bring cameramen to the scene and race back to the city with their film. A status race has developed between the pilots. The Channel 10 broke its best and one of the drivers told me with the lane guard authority of a Bill Collins. Although stung by the remark, the all seven helicopter takes off from a nearby paddock and raises the, by the tail like a prawn being lifted from a plate. Then it sweeps across the scene, curls the air, sprawls away to the left. It, that wasn't bad, and the Bill Collins man admits. Police hovering on the outskirts are treated with respect. It is they who will be forced to act if the government decides on harsh measures, and it is their blood, if any, which will be spilled if such orders are given. 
Although the occupancy is gentle, the mood is tough and implacable. If they had tried to move the trucks, they wouldn't be able to get near us, one driver told me. There would be a hundred blokes down on top of them. Surprisingly, the stoppages were not planned, nationwide move, but spread from the original blockade of Razor Black in a series spontaneous out. It, it just happened word of mouth they left you know they pull up into a servo have a feed shower tell you know the kitchen hand and, and room I just word of mouth it just spread the man who started it is T- Tex Stevens 35 at the time and owned a driver from the outer suburb Sydney of Lithgow Park. He was one of the six delegates elected by a meeting by the drivers to press their claims with the Transport Workers Union and the government. He says they were promised a meeting with the Transport Workers Union, but the meeting was never eventuated. Last Saturday, I got home from Melbourne. I was very worried and had a discussion with the wife, he said. I said, look, life, look love, I'm either going to give the truck back or I'll park it in the middle of the highway. He and other five delegates decided to meet on top of Razorback on Monday. Stevens and the five other drivers, including three close friends, Cole Bird, Barry Grimson and Carl Goodfellow, parked on the road at a truck bay normally used to cool heavy vehicles after a long grind up the mountain. And on Sesame Street, man, up and through there, even today, if you're fully, like a B-double fully overloaded, man, she will heat up in a hot day in 40 degree weather. You do end up having to pull over. Over his CB radio, Stevens, codename Green Dog, announced, We're here to stay. Not many drivers heard the declaration. They just rumbled into the revolution. Within half an hour, six other drivers had joined them. By nightfall on Monday, a hundred heavy rigs blocked the highway. My truck is here until it rots, and so is every other man, Stevens said. I asked him how his wife felt about the dispute. She was a little bit upset. I had a talk to her on the telephone today. She was crying. She was a very emotional girl, but my wife... She's a thousand percent behind us. One of the other drivers, Daryl Shaw of Baxter, Victoria, said, We should be living on a par with people like bank managers when you consider the size of our investment and the responsibility we bear. And now it's actually more responsibility with the chain of responsibility uh, laws that they brought in. One man truck driver's wife who moved to the mountain to join the blockade is Miss Barbara Fru of Campbelltown. It's a hard life being married to a truck driver until we had the baby I used to drive with him and then it was easier. We'd be away as much as two weeks on a run interstate. Life is very hard on marriages. This is the second marriage for both of us. It's a hard battle. We're lucky. It's only a cheap truck and we're paying only 500 a month on it. But some of the boys are paying 1500 to 1800 a month. And that's a lot back then in 1979. That's a hell of a lot of money. You've got to keep the wheels rolling or they'll let you drive only 10 hours a day. And now you can only drive 14 hours a day. If you've got your basic fatigue management, you can drive more. Um, perhaps one day soon I'll share some photos of me driving trucks and my truck life. My son was um, brought up in the truck until he was about uh, three, just before he went to prep and school. Um... He could read by the age of 12 months. He just loved the truck. Um, I might share the photos, one videos one day soon. I don't know. Got some fun videos. It's just mainly like driving, me driving and being... Yeah, but uh, this concerns me. It really does. You see, old here my way. Now they got uh, dual carriageway. They three tails and truck drivers at the time of this writing. It's like I said four states last night. New South Wales drivers, Ted Stevens, the National Highways were about to close down. Blockades built up New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, South Australia after talks on truckies. Grievances broke down in Sydney. Drivers were block railway yards between Sydney and Melbourne to thought attempts to get cargo through rail. He said, 200 truckies on Mount Razorback South Sydney last night voted to block off haulage terminals in Sydney. They were virtually city off all carrier traffic. Private car and emergency vehicles will be allowed through most blockades, but heavier transport vehicles will be stopped. Sydney, ringed by about 19 blockages, could suffer food shortages by tomorrow. Major protests in Victoria were Horsham, that's on the border, 125 trucks, and Marshall East, 100 trucks. Similar blockades were built up at Milton, um, that's just on the outskirts of Melbourne, and Calico, and Little River. Victorian police were watching the blockades last night, and their instructions were to avoid all confrontations. Reinforcements were being organised at Russell Street in case they were needed. A muster at the Horsham Roadblock decided at 11.30 last night to ban all transport, including essential service, until at least the morning. The biggest TNT contract in Australia, bunkers took their entire fleet off the road yesterday evening at Shell Victoria. Tankers drivers went out in sympathy last night. The number of blockades across the eastern states snowballed when news spread. The delegation of drivers have walked out of Sydney and talks are aimed at breaking the deadlock over the road tax and other issues. Now, if it's done today on our roads today, it's going to be hell. It's going to be chaos. 
Um, I've already gone and bought lots of flour and pasta. Got um, my boys still eat meat. I don't, but um, I got meat for the boys and fish. Um, we we just stocked up. I can see food shortages and all that shit coming soon. So here's some old images of the trucks. And today, you know, like still a lot of the old drivers get together, and there's a lot of memorial runs the truckies do every year. So it wouldn't be hard for the truckies to organise and pull it together. Um, it does concern me. I've been there up in here to this site. All of their sites, pretty much. Here's a map that shows it. So Perth and surrounding districts. So, um, so added to the blockade figures is, is conservative estimate of 20,000 trucks. So near the smaller blockades, contractors' yards are parked at homes throughout the nation. There are 40,000 40, articulated vehicles registered throughout Australia. Perth and surrounding district, uh, Canterbury 50, Greenmount 30, Kelmscott 30, Mulcher 50, Red Hill 6, Southern Cross 80. Adelaide's surrounding districts. So you got Anstey's Hill, Bridge Road, Carvin, Crofters Bypass, Golden Cove, Grawler Bypass, Modernbury, a Highland Hill, Pukaba, Melbourne and surrounding district, Coldstream, thirty, Exford fifteen, Geelong a hundred, Gilshbourne sixty, Hallam fifty, Calcock two hundred, Lang Lang eighty, Little River seventy, Melton one hundred and twenty. Murchison, 150, Wodonga, 60, Sydney and the surrounding districts, Blacktown, 12, Crossroads, 75, Cashera, 75, Camden, 50, Cronall, 40, Liverpool, 60, Mount Kurragay, 300, McGrath's Hill, 50, North Ride, 4, Prospect, 100, Roselle, 10, White Bay, 15, New South Wales, Albury, 25, Berkshire, 40, Burke, 30, Burke is out here. That's Burke is out in the middle of fucking whoop whoop, fucking nowhere. Bendemere, 160. Bonshaw, Bonshaw is in in up here on the northern tablelands. Uh, Bogabilla, that's on the Queensland border, just up in here. Uh, Barona, Beringen, Bell, Burley Pass, Bathurst, Collo Heights, Coffs Harbour, 150, 80, 140, 26, 12, 12, 400, 7, 160, 30, 20, 25, 15, 10. Griffith, 50, Grafton, 20, Hexham, 65, Hat, 63, Kempsey, 40, Lithgow, 12, Marangaroo, 65, Moree, 10, Mount Lambie, 120, Mount Olsley, 130, Mount Victoria, 42, Orange, 20, Queen Bean, 20, Razorback, 300, Tokamel, 13, West Wylong, 150, uh, Warpi, 5, Yass, 811, Brisbane and surrounding districts, Aratrula, 80, Brewer Desert, 42, Burpengarry, 60, Coomera, 25, Esk, 6, Queensland, Gundawindi, 300, Rockhampton, 25, Toowoomba, 40. So um, that was just back in 1979. Word of mouth one day just took off. Uh, I'd hate to imagine what could happen if they did it today. Um, just be prepared. Stock up. Don't stock up on toilet paper. Fuck, if you run out of toilet paper, get in and have a shower. You don't need to worry about toilet paper. Worry about buying fucking food. You see so many people at the shops rushing to buy toilet paper and fighting over toilet paper. It's just stupid. You're being programmed because you saw it on the TV. You fight over it because others want it. Worry about the food. It's all a distraction. It's all part of the script. I like a little saying. I'll share it again. 1% control the world. 4% are sellout puppets. 90% are asleep. 5% no and are trying to wake up the 90%. The 1% don't want the 5% waking up the 90%. Do you get it? Think about it now. We got a lot of B doubles which go up to 64 and a half ton, and road trains that go up to 110 ton. This is a road train. It's a road train, road train, road train. B double, B double, road train, road train, B double. Um, it, these these babies are long. These rigs, and it's not going to take many of them to block the highways. These are our class of trucks. In Australia and they get big so yeah it's not gonna take much and you're not gonna take on the trucks no way they're big bastards um, mainly the B doubles we we have a lot of road trains on the Warrigo Highway now going Brisbane to Toowoomba so it wouldn't take much to block block the port of Brisbane and all these roads 
gateway, all of that. It's very concerning. I just hope it doesn't get aggressive. It's just like the media are pushing um, the public to uh, snap. Uh, it's the way it feels at the moment. Um, yeah, they just they just want people to go off and snap, and that way they can declare martial law and lock them down. You know. So yeah, these are on the road everywhere. They're good fun to drive. Lots of fun. Yeah, stock up if you can.